Now, I do have to ask, you mentioned something about the bad souls not, you know, going on. Um, it is October. <laughs> and yes. um, I just binged The Midnight Club, and that was super creepy. Um, oh, is, that the new, is that the new series on Netflix? Yes, yes. Oh, I want to see that. Yes. Yeah, great storytelling. Fantastic storytelling. Um, but, you know, people are, you know, kind of dabbling. And, and I think somebody was talking about going to haunted houses that were really haunted. Um, do you get a lot of people asking you about like the spirit world and Halloween and how to reach people, especially with the Ouija board this time of year? Yes. And what I can tell you is this, is that do not use a Ouija board. That's, and I'm telling you this for one reason, because I've never used a Ouija board and my family, though, they're prohibited. They are off limits. And the thing is, is that my grandmother, you know, always said never to use them. My mom always said never to use them. And they explained why. I think the big the big question is, why do you not use a Ouija board? What's the difference with the Ouija board versus tarot cards? It's the question that I'm asked all the time. Yeah. Well, first of all, let me know. Let me let you know one thing. You know, being a medium, before I do any reading, before I connect with somebody, whether it's a live event, online reading, private reading, no matter what it is, the first thing that I do, and you guys don't see this because it happens behind the camera, but I always pray. I do everything with God. You know, religion and faith is really important to me because of the fact that, you know, I want to talk to only the good souls on the other side. And the big misconception is that people say to me, well, Matt, why is it that you only talk to the good souls? Like, aren't there bad souls? And there absolutely are. There are souls that don't make it to the other side. But I choose not to talk to those souls. You know, that's the reason why I'm so strong in my faith for that reason. And I'll tell you this. The way that it works and the way that the spirit world has explained to me. And this this is where actually I get a lot of skepticism. This is where a lot of people kind of uh, backlash against me when I say this because they don't want to believe it. But I always tell, the, tell you the truth. I don't care if people believe me or not. And the thing is, is that, you know, uh, in Hollywood and on television, you know, we think that there's so many evil spirits out there. And we think that there's so many, you know, negative energies and uh, in the spirit world. And the truth is, is that they're not. The truth is, is that there's really not that many evil spirits that don't transition over, you know? And if you think about it, right, it's like here in this world, if you look at all the good people here in this world, and, and I'm talking about good people, we all make mistakes, right? We, we um, don't talk to our sister, or we have a falling out with the family, or this happens. That doesn't constitute you being a bad person. But I'm talking about people who do really evil acts, right? If you look at, at society, there's only, that's only just a small, small, small group of people. You know, I like to believe that, you know, I want to say, I, I mean, I want to say the majority of people are good, right? I, I, I want to throw a number out there. Like, I want to say like 99.9% .9 of the people are good. That's what I, that's what I like to believe. I don't know if that number is true or not, but what I can tell you is that, you know, uh, the, the souls that are actually evil are very small. So the reason why I'm telling you this is that, you know, evil does not like to be around happy people, around loving families, around things like that. You know, that's the reason why we have haunted houses. So when people say, well, why is there a haunt? Why is that house haunted? Why is it always an abandoned hospital, Matt? Why is it always an abandoned house? Why is it, you know, an abandoned factory or a place in the woods where nobody goes? It's because evil likes to be away from everybody. Because don't forget, there's good souls that walk around us every day. So you have your mom, your dad that's with you that may have passed away, your sister that passed away. You know, you're in the house, you're carving pumpkins, you're having good times. Evil does not like to see that. So evil crawls to the dark corners of the earth. It's the reason why you'll never hear of us of a evil spirit haunting, you know, a casino. There's too much energy. There's too yeah. many people drinking, partying, gambling, playing, doing all these things. So evil likes to be by itself. So the reason why I'm telling you this is that when you use a Ouija board, what you're really doing is you're opening yourself up to all energies that are around you. And the reason why it's bad is that evil can't touch you. Evil can't haunt you. Evil can't hurt you. Okay. Um, unless you invite it in. And that's another thing that I get slammed over, but I don't really care because it's the, it's the God's honest truth yeah. because all the readings that I do, right? You would think that I would talk to so many people who have haunted houses. I talked to so many people that, you know, had a spirit attached to them. And I'm going to tell you that that's very rare and that has happened. And the only time that I've actually had that happen, okay, were under these circumstances. One, the person was a paranormal investigator and they didn't know what they were doing. They would go out to these haunted places looking for trouble. 
Two, the per the person was playing with the Ouija board consecutively and, you know, started to engage with a spirit that was bad and, you know, that spirit could attach them. And Or three, you know, um, that person went looking for trouble. They would go and visit these haunted places, bring up, bring up, they call it a spirit box with them, you know, taunt the other side and the paranormal. And there you go. But I've never had, I've never had just a person like me or you, just a regular person who doesn't do any of that, you know, uh, have a haunting happen. Now, there have been people come to me that think that their house is haunted mm -hmm. and it's just their dad that's there or their mother that's there or maybe the past homeowner that had died, right? Or a spirit that they didn't recognize. Mm -hmm. But nobody who hasn't um, dabbled in that has had a problem. It's always been people who play with Ouija boards. So I've asked the other side about this. The other side has told me that when we play with the Ouija board, it's equivalent to leaving your front door open. So imagine going to bed, right, and leaving your front door open, unlocked and just opened up a little bit, right? First day might go by, nobody notices that you're fine. Second time, second day might go by, a neighbor might come over and be concerned and say, hey, listen, this door's open. Did you know about it? Yeah, just leave it alone. Well, sooner or later, someone bad is going to know that that door is open and they're going to enter it. Same thing with the Ouija board. That's the reason why some people will play with the Ouija board. Maybe one time, two two times, not have any any bad experiences. But all it takes is that one evil soul in the nearby area. There has to be an evil soul, right? So if that evil soul is in the nearby area, sees you're playing with it, and you invite it in, that's when the trouble starts. So I recommend not using it at all costs. <laughs> no kidding. And then, like, you know, like you said, tarot cards and, um, like, numerology, like all that stuff, that's not harmful, you would say. It's just the No, because... The thing is, is that tarot cards uses our own inner ability. Tarot cards doesn't lure in spirits. You know, like I like to tell people, I don't bring your loved ones to you. You bring your loved ones to me. Your loved ones are with you every day. I'm just telling you what they're saying. We are Ouija boards. You know, you're actually leaving your front door open. You're letting that, you're telling that soul, it's okay to come into my house. It's okay to come into my life. It's okay to be present with me, right? Where tarot cards are literally all tarot cards are, are a tool that mediums use or psychics use to contact the other side. And people say, well, aren't you just reading the cards? And the answer is no, is that when you throw down those, ta those tarot cards, okay, those tarot cards are actually symbols that, you know, helps you to trigger visions. So that's all, all tarot cards are. It's almost like the way to explain tarot cards, it's almost like when you're um, doing a creative writing assignment, right? And you're trying to, to to remember your thoughts or dig deeper into yourself. And they give you those little uh, one-liners that say, I'm most happiest when you have to fill in the blank. Or, you know, my favorite childhood memory is and you fill in the blank. That's what tarot cards are, is that you throw, they, when, when mediums are throwing them down, they're relying on their own uh, intuitive psychic connection. And the cards just help them as a better way to connect and kind of sort out their visions. Okay. Okay, so, um, yeah, why are they selling Ouija boards at the toy stores, by the way? You know, you have to ask. Well, I think that they, the Ouija boards started out as a toy, right? And it was intended to be a toy. And then I think what ended up happening is, is that people started to use them uh, so I started to use them for other purposes. So what turned out to be a fun game actually turned into something that could be really dangerous when dealing with evil spirits. Yeah. All right. Well, let's end on a happy note. What is Royce going to be for Halloween? <laughs> I actually don't know yet. So we have, we are like so torn. We're like, we don't know if we're going to do, if we're going to dress him up as a little shark and we're going to be Baywatch or we don't know if we're going to dress him up as like a little giraffe and we're going to be zookeepers. We're like thinking about all of these different things. And it's actually really hard <laughs> to get a, a newborn a costume, I just realized. Yeah. Like, I don't know why. It's just, it's, it's, Alexa and I were going through and we're like, it, it's hard to find something that fits him and then that, you know, you want him to be comfortable for the night and all that kind of good stuff. So it's, we're still looking and Amazon has been our best friend. So we'll see. We'll all see right, what we'll happens. We'll follow along. And this is just going to be a lifetime of fun for you guys because you've got that, you got Thanksgiving, you got Christmas, you got birthdays. It's, it's, it's a it's a, gonna be a wonderful time for you guys. So thank you so much. Don't buy a Ouija port anybody. <laughs> no, no, don't. And that's the saddest thing is like I said, when somebody does buy a Ouija board, they don't, you know, they, they think it's just a game or they think it's just just fun and then they, you know, a lot of times people get freaked out.
Yeah, me too. I am freaked out now. So um, I'm going to go look at baby pictures of Royce to calm myself down. And well, uh, no, the, thing, the thing is, is this, right? Is that it doesn't like, for example, I had a friend of mine. I'll tell you a story. Yeah. I actually wrote about it in my book. I had a friend of mine and she called me up and she was so freaked out because um, her her daughter went to a, a sleepover and they had a Ouija board and they were playing with this Ouija board. Mm-hmm. And the daughter's like, nope, not touching it. Got to stay on, on the other side of the room. Like, I don't want to be anywhere near it. Yeah. Well, anyway, when they when the, when her friend started playing with the Ouija board, it like spelled out her name and like started to say like all these things about her. And she was like, nope, I don't want any part of that. Like, I'm just staying away. Well, anyways, she went home early, screaming and crying to her mother. Her mother calls me on the phone and it's like, Matt, is my daughter okay? Like, I'm concerned. Like, is any is any soul attached to her? And luckily, luckily, there was nothing, you know? The, did a spirit try to engage with her through the, the Ouija board? Absolutely. Be- but because she shut it down and was like, nope, I don't want anything to do with that. Nope, I'm sitting over here. No, guys, put that away. Nope. You know, she set clear boundaries. And that's what every medium does when they're connecting with the other side. Is you set clear boundaries. Say, listen, I don't want anything to do with that. It's not going to affect you. That's good. It's to know. really that simple. Yeah. So if you're at a sleepover, like you said, if your kid is there and, and upset, they can get away from it if, you know. Oh, absolutely. And not every, like I said, not every experience is bad, right? Like I said, the first couple experiences with the Ouija board that you might have, nothing might happen. But it's just a matter of time for that. There has to be, if there's an evil soul in that area that can come through, and it does, that's when we come into problems. But the other part is knowing this. And what I tell people is that you don't need a Ouija board to connect with your loved ones. That's the silver lining, Mm -hmm. is that, you know, this connection is with you, not through a board. Let that connection stay with you. Focus on the good ways to connect with your loved ones. Signs, repeating numbers, dreams, talking to your loved ones. You know, what's an even more powerful connection is you just having internal conversations with your loved ones. You know, when you say things like, dad, I wish you were here. Mom, I wish you were seeing this right now. Mm -hmm. What you're really doing is you're telling your loved ones in spirit that they can come into your life and more importantly telling them that you know you want to hear from them and that's when your loved ones start to send you signs because they love responding back 